Ah, shit. I lost my luggage. No, it's not here. Damn. Ha, yeah, I seem to have lost my luggage. That's a shame. Did you look in the lost info? Hey, Susan, did you put a price tag on that luggage? I said revoke on it yet. I'm sorry, what? Oh my goodness, I can't believe that the airport lost my luggage. I'd had my beloved uncle's ashes in it. Let me just get on TikTok and try not to cry about it. I bought somebody's lost luggage from London Heathrow Airport, and here's what rocked up at my door. It <laughs> oh my god, Uncle Gil. I've seen that trend of people buying lost Amazon packages, and it's like you never know what you're going to get. They just charge you a certain amount for this box. They send it to you, and you either really make out with the money spent, or you just lose everything. And I knew that was a trend with the Amazon packages, but... Buying people's lost luggage from the airport where they're typically packing clothing, underwear, bras, dirty socks. Why are y'all paying to get these products? It's so weird and like absurd to me because I understand buying a lost Amazon package. It's coming from the factory. You don't know what it's going to be. It's a mystery box. But y'all buying somebody's personal belongings that they lost at the airport and i'm sure they worked hard to get it back it's it's weird i can't help but think about whenever i travel and i have to take certain things with me that have to go to certain places i try to keep it as tucked away and safe as i can in that suitcase and if i were to lose my luggage I would be highly upset and do everything i can to try to get it back and if the airport itself would just send off my luggage to some company where they're selling it for like $80 a pot, basically. I'd be highly upset to see some TikToker reviewing personal items, trinkets, something from great, great grandma who passed away, who unfortunately I was trying to move and have this item in my bag that now she's reviewing on TikTok. I'd be upset. I don't get how this is a trend, but the videos are kind of disturbing. Let's just dive right into it it cost me a grand total of 80 pounds so i thought i'd open it on camera and we can decide if it's Start worth off it by okay. taking off this black wrapping to reveal this blue dulcy suitcase these go for about 200 pounds brand new so that's a pretty good start now it's time to whack it open i was actually super nervous i had to cut off this tag to get inside and here's what the suitcase looked like when i opened it it's definitely a woman's suitcase so make sure you're following along for part two where we go through it oh is it just me or is it incredibly dehumanizing to see TikTokers nowadays buying people's personal belongings for $80 and then judging if that $80 was well spent or not? You're buying somebody's personal shit that they never intended to lose in the first place. That's their personal belongings. You know, I don't take my purse with me when I leave the house intending to lose it throughout the day. I'm sure they didn't intend to lose their damn luggage while they were traveling. And the fact that you're sitting here saying, uh, let's whack it open, uh, TikTok, it's so quirky. What the fuck? Like, what dystopian ass society are we living in? This is literally, in my eyes, equivalent to finding somebody's wallet on the side of the road and being like, let's whack it open. Let's see what's in this bitch. Seriously, though, how is it even ethical to be buying people's personal belongings, products? There could be a wedding ring in there. There could be mom's ashes in there you don't know it's somebody else's personal property it's not like an amazon box where you kind of know and expect what you're going to get something from that website in somebody's personal belongings you never know missy ma'am you are an influencer and i'm sure you you will at some point fly out to those influencer events how would you feel if you lost your luggage and the company took it and then sold it for $80 and you lost all the outfits that you packed for Coachella that weekend. I'm sure you'd be really upset. But it's just completely fine when you buy somebody else's personal property and then flash their panties in front of thousands or millions of people to see. So you can shop people's unclaimed and lost luggage. Thrift, people that are just looking for good deals. Think about it. The people that are actually not coming back for their bags... I mean, these people typically have a little bit of money. Such a morbid way to look at the situation for unclaimed luggage. Oh, they didn't come back for their luggage? <laughs> Rich bitch. No, usually people don't have the money to, I don't know, maybe their luggage weight changes and they're like, hey, you have to pay an extra hundred just to get your luggage back. And they're like, oh shit, I don't have that. I don't know. Situation of circumstance is different for everybody, but not everybody has the funds or sometimes it just gets lost on accident.
sometimes it gets lost on accident and they have no idea where it is. And unfortunately, due to capitalism in America today, they're never going to get their luggage back because there's companies out there that are literally, well, the airports that are literally just taking their luggage and they're like, let's sell it for $80. Big suitcases, $120. Mm-hmm. Let's sell everybody's personal shit. Find some luxury items. Let me tell you how it works. The airline attempts to get the bags back to their rightful owners. They take months to uh, contact them. I don't know, the contact number isn't right or they just don't wanna come back and get their bags. Again, Missy ma'am, people travel via airplanes, via the airport. So whenever they go to the airport, there's thousands of people traveling. There's thousands of bags and luggage for them to keep up with. They're bound to slip up and lose a bag or two here in transit, but it's not always possible for that person to get that belonging back to them because one, if you lose your luggage, especially internationally, it will take thousands to get that lost luggage shipped back to you. And especially if you're traveling out of state and they just so happen to lose your bag and you go back home a couple states over, it's going to cost hundreds of dollars to get your bags back. And not everybody has that. I think instead of this trend of let's buy people's belongings for $80 that they lost in a misfortune due to traveling and the airport not being careful with their baggage... Instead of spending $80 to get that person's baggage and go through it for a TikTok video, why not try to find that person? I understand there is probably some rich people out there who lost belongings or luggage while traveling. And if they would get contacted, they're probably like, uh, like, I really don't care about the bag. Or maybe they just don't even want to fucking bother with it. Or maybe they'll just have their, like, manager or somebody do something to collect the bag. But nine times out of ten, y'all, it's going to be somebody just like me and you who work either nine to fives or work bust our ass for our income and our belongings if we're traveling we expect people aka the company to keep our, our stuff safe if they're losing it in transit and then expecting us to pay hundreds of thousands to get it back we're probably not going to be able to get our luggage back and you have greedy ass tiktokers who are buying our personal belongings for clout these bags sit in a facility for months but after a few months they go ahead and sell everything to the public. To do this is of course by an auction. Now there's so many auctions online, but the thing with the auctions is it, it just shows the bag. Like you don't get to see what's inside. It's kind of like storage wars, but without opening the storage. So the bag may look expensive, but it might just have a bunch of dirty clothes and stuff isn't worth it. Say you're flying somewhere for a four day trip. So you take about five outfits worth or <laughs> look at me I don't travel I don't know you take however much shit that you want for that five-day vacation that you're gonna be gone so say you're you don't want to go do laundry while you're out and about it's just a vacation just a quick vacation you don't feel like being bothered with that you're gonna do that when you get home along with everything else that has to be done so you put your dirty clothes back in that suitcase put on your last clean outfit then your dirty clothes get lost in transit then a TikToker buys your dirty shit and they're like, wow, this bag really stinks. You know, your chances with that kind of thing. Or it could have expensive jewelry, expensive skincare, all kinds of stuff. Something called Unclaim Baggage Store. Now, just Google that in your state and they have specific stores where this can happen. Some states don't have it. I know like Louisiana, we don't have um, an actual physical store. But you can go to Unclaim Baggage store.com and you can look at the actual items there you don't have to get a bag and kind of hope understand getting secondhand things there's nothing wrong with going to thrift stores and getting things that are used but y'all purchasing somebody's luggage that they probably didn't choose to intentionally part ways with is just beyond me just a quick fun fact, I actually ended up donating on accident a bag of clothes to Goodwill. Like when stuff grows out of me or like grows out of my family or my kid, I'll typically get bags and take that to a Goodwill drop-off box or to the store itself and give it to them. I ended up accidentally, accidentally, why did I, <laughs> why did I say it like that? I accidentally donated a bag of clothes that I intended to keep, but it was kind of too late. So I had to kind of just roam the store after they put the stuff out on the floor about a week later and repurchase things that I didn't intend to get rid of. And that was a shitty experience and I didn't even get back everything. I can't remember what all was in the bag, but I noticed, oh shit, 
I'm missing a bag of clothes that I didn't mean to get rid of. So yeah, I had to go back through the store and reshop my own items and that just was not fun. It's kind of humiliating. <laughs> so I couldn't imagine somebody just purchasing my lost luggage online then make it a TikTok video about it. But hey, to each their own. These are just my thoughts and opinions. Let me know yours in the comment section down below and I'll catch you in the next video.